Our remotely piloted aircraft, commonly known as drones, are extremely intelligent aircraft. They are able to locate missing persons using 4K cameras, stabilise themselves using GPS technology and create 3D maps of buildings and terrain. They have a range of safety features that prevent them from flying into objects such as trees and buildings. Hi, I'm Jamie Morland, Chief Remote Pilot of the South Australian State Emergency Service. As much as that may sound like a grand title, it comes with a lot of responsibility, such as overseeing all flight operations and ensuring our pilots adhere to all legislation regarding drones. Drones are useful in the emergency services to assist our volunteers on the ground when conducting a land search for a missing person, searching the base of a cliff and conducting a damage assessment following a flood or a bushfire. We've done some testing with a drone during a land search scenario. We had some hilly terrain where a missing person was hidden. Our volunteers then lined up and walked through doing their search patterns. At the same time, I was flying overhead using the drone. It took our volunteers 42 minutes to come across the missing person, whilst it took the drone seven minutes. So drones can save a lot of time and effort. If the person is injured or unwell, that can be critical to saving their life. Keeping up with technology and making sure that we are continuously improving is important here at the SES. Our aim isn't to replace our volunteers with drones, but to support them with an eye from above during and after critical incidents. For more information on how we respond to emergencies, visit the South Australian State Emergency Service website at www.ses.sa.gov.au.